Good evening and welcome to ABN Evening News. I'm Jimmy Feng Berwin and as per usual, I am your host for the night. Starting off with the war in Vermont, the week-long Vermont Republican Army's siege of the quaint town of Barr has finally come to an end and not a good one. Using fierce brutality and guerrilla tactics, they have managed to capture and occupy the town and now, for the first time in what is probably a very long time, the American flag no longer waves in Barra. Executive Minister Jimmy Carter has issued a statement on the matter, expressing his regrets for the town's capture, his sympathies toward its people, and promises to begin a troop surge in Vermont to end the Vermont Republican Army's rebellion once and for all. We here at ABN also extend our deepest sympathies towards Barra and hope that Stars and Stripes flies over town once more. Now, before we get to our next story, we here at ABN would like to remind you that running this network isn't cheap, and as such, it's time for a commercial break. We will be back shortly, though, so don't worry. McDonald's Big Mac, it's more than just another hamburger. There are two all-beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, and onions on a sesame seed bun. Seven great ingredients working together to make one great taste. Two all-beef patties, special sauce, cheese, lettuce, pickles, onions, on a sesame seed bun. Get the idea? Two all-beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions, and a sesame seed bun. It's your McDonald's Big Mac. You've got to taste it to believe it, you know what I mean? Two all-beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions, and a sesame seed bun. Two all-beef patties... Let me say a few words about McDonald's Big Mac. It's a, it's, it's... Two whole beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions, and a sesame seed bun. Two whole... Well, what, what was that word again? Two whole beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions, and a sesame seed bun. Lettuce, cheese, cheese, pickles, onions, lettuce, uh, cheese, pickles, onions, oh, well, what am I saying? You deserve a break today at McDonald's. Where your dollar gets a break every day. From High Technology, the computer store. Introducing Apple II, the easy to operate home computer. Just hook it up to your TV to create dazzling color displays. Or you can balance your checkbook. Kids can teach themselves arithmetic. Or the family can invent their own pong games. The possibilities are endless. It's called Apple II, the personal computer. See it at High Technology, the computer store. Welcome back to ABN Evening News. For our next top story, Governor Jerry Brown of the state of California, which is under the Pacific Northwest and SoCal electoral districts, has signed the Schwarzenegger Act, a law named after famous actor, bodybuilder, and California state legislature member Arnold Schwarzenegger, who did much of the lobbying to get it passed. Similar to the prohibition of the 1920s and 1930s, set to go into effect in one month, will prohibit the sale of all cigarettes and cigar products in the state of California. The act, initially ridiculed at first, gained much more support after an effective ad and public service campaign was launched, detailing and citing the proven negative effects of smoking. However, the act still has many passionate opposers, from those who believe it encroaches on our civil liberties, to those worried about the income lost from taxes, to those who smoke themselves, they are not few and far between. In fact, the bill just clinched its way to being passed by California's legislature, winning by just a few seats in both their Senate and House of Representatives. In the end, though, only time that will tell whether new law will be successful and help the people of California. Maybe it will work, maybe not. I gave Brazil a piece of my mind. Now I can identify and work with diseases most nurses have never come in contact with. I gave Minda now a piece of my mind. Now I can grow practically anything, anywhere. I gave Jamaica a piece of my mind. Now show me an engine, I can fix it. I gave Tunisia a piece of my mind. I learned as much from them as they learned from me. I gave the Philippines a piece of my mind. Now there's no question about it. I'm a better teacher for it. There are a lot of fine minds out there. Don't take yours for granted. The Peace Corps needs your mind. It needs your skills, it needs your education. It needs them to help millions of people who are literally dying for lack of what you've got right up here. Join the Peace Corps. Give the world a piece of your mind. In other news, the Mueller riots in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, named after Eric Mueller, the homeless man whose story inspired the riots, are still going strong, even in their sixth day. Cars are being flipped, buildings are falling victim to arson, maces sprayed, and so on. The city of Milwaukee's health department has reported at least two deaths today and countless more injured. 
For those out of the loop somehow, the so-called Mueller riots have started six days ago after two members of the Milwaukee Police Department, Ernest Ramirez and Kirby Tomlinson, were acquitted despite there being evidence to show that they beat a homeless man by the name of Eric Mueller nearly to death. Initially a protest against police brutality, the Mueller riots escalated. Now being a fully blown riot, they also grew to become over our downtrodden economy, poverty rates, joblessness, homelessness, etc. The deployment of riot police seems to have done nothing but inflame them even more, with the rioting and protesting spreading citywide, with related protests spawning in Chicago, New York, and Los Angeles. In better news, however, northern Italy's economic liberalization policies are beginning to be realized. Already one of the most economically liberal socialist countries in Europe, North Italy has reinforced this fact with the opening of the first McDonald's fast food location in that country. Located in Venice, the location is supplied beef and french fries by a specially constructed factory dedicated to producing the ingredients for the hungry Italian's Big Mac or Chicken McNuggets. We were planning to have a segment interviewing Italians and seeing their thoughts on McDonald's in their country, but for reasons we will not disclose, our news crew sent to North Italy has been detained. In the end, though, we hope that North Italy's reopening to the world will end well for them. The only thing we know for a fact, though, is that Lenin is probably spinning in his grave at this news.